So we are back with another Tesla update and this one specific to the Cybertruck has one new feature that I've been super excited for. This is Tesla software update 2025.8.4 and it introduces the ability to actually lower and raise your suspension on your Cybertruck right in the app. Let's take a quick look at how this works. First things first, back in the Cybertruck, if you go under software, you can see that 2025.8.4 has a full build number of EB342C69A39V. And if anyone from Tesla happens to be watching this video, let us know where all these digits and alphanumerics are actually in regards to. I'm always curious about that. But anyways, regardless, if you actually jump into the release notes for this, it's somewhat limited, but we do have those super useful new features that are listed right under 2025.8. The first one is steer by wire improvements. And now it says the steering wheel now gives you more realistic feedback, adapting to different road surfaces for a better driving experience. It's meant to feel more one-to-one -one for what you get when you drive a traditional vehicle that does not have steer by wire. I liked how it always felt, never thought it was an issue. So I'm curious to put this to the test and see exactly how it's changed with this update. Beyond that, this is the big one that we were talking about, adjust ride height via Tesla app. Seems like a small change, but the quality of life improvement is definitely there. And it says you can now adjust Cybertruck air suspension ride height directly from your phone. To use this feature, ensure your phone key is paired and connected and that you have Tesla app version 4.42.5 or later. On your Tesla app, go to controls, ride height. So let's hop out of the truck and show you exactly how easy this is to operate. Okay, in typical Tesla fashion, this is super easy to do. Once you actually launch the app, you're simply going to want to go under controls and swipe up from the bottom here. And right off the bat, you can see on road is what we're in right now. Obviously we're not off road and you can select the different ride heights right from here. So. I'm gonna move this right to the side and let's go ahead and just move it on entry. And it'll take a second to connect to the vehicle and you should start seeing momentarily the car drop. So it does say set suspension level failed, command timeout. That's usually because of the signal strength, but if you try it again, you should have no issues. And you can see it now lowering right from its high ride height. It is super easy. We've seen that a uh, error message before that we just showed you. It has come up from time to time. Not sure exactly what causes it, but you can see it is now remotely controlled to entry mode from ride height. Now let's go ahead and go back high. And you can see once again, it is moving right back up. So yeah, it is that easy. I am super excited about this update. Glad they finally added this to the app. Again, it seems like such a small tweak but I am a big fan. So make sure you have your Tesla app updated and make sure that your car is up to date with at least 2025.8. Thanks for watching guys. Let us know in the comments down below, what do you think about these updates and what do you think ever since Cybertruck has come out, how they've continued, continually updated the product. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.